have a major science fiction program in the offing. By its own admission, it is definitely in need of new programmes in this area and wouldn't mind hearing from you. And there's news too about a possible return of Doctor Who. And we found all that out when we launched our enemy alien, Richard Jobson, into orbit with the sci-fi fans. The BBC need to put on science fiction for us now. There is an audience out there for science fiction and the sooner... TV people start realising it, the sooner they'll start serving the audience as they're supposed to. I think the trouble with science fiction is that maybe some people do tend to look down their nose at it. Beam me down, Scotty. Ever since the BBC stopped making Doctor Who way back in 1989, there's been an ever-growing chorus of complaint about the lack of science fiction on television. But there is one small crumb of comfort for sci-fi junkies. The sixth series of Red Dwarf is currently in production and is due to be transmitted, well, of course, sometime in the future. So what's in the tubes? Uh, Lansom claims to have isolated several strains of positive virus. Inspiration, charisma, sexual magnetism. Sexual magnetism's a virus? Mm -hmm. Well, give it to a hospital, I'm a terminal case. <laughs> Red Dwarf is a spaceship comedy which has now reached cult status amongst the teens and 20-somethings. Here at the BBC, the final sound effects are being added to the latest programmes. So what do we do? Well, there's nothing on the radar. It's another illusion. We do nothing. Yo, guys, what's happening? We were up until the arrival of Absolutely Fabulous, the, the top-watched uh, sitcom on BBC Two. We, we got 6.5 million for the last series, which, which is big for BBC Two. But it wasn't easy to sell the idea of science fiction to BBC drama chiefs. The script was originally uh, rejected three times. Um, executives with BBC were, were nervous and we made all sorts of promises that it, in fact it wouldn't have any science fiction content <laughs> just blatantly lied and in the first few shows it doesn't and then when we were kind of more established we, we crept more and more in at the moment Red Dwarf is the only new sci-fi drama series being made at the BBC but sci-fi fanatics can get their supply at specialist shops like this one Forbidden Planet in central London We sell books, um, T-shirts, uh, film and television material, merchandise, toys, um, comics. Comics is one of our biggest areas. I think it's growing and will continue to grow. If you look at the top grossing movies and if you look at the best-selling novels, look at the lists that come out every year. There are always science fiction elements in the, the top ones. It's only on television where there seems to be this idea that there isn't an audience. And yet, back in the 50s, Quatermass was pulling in Coronation Street-sized audiences. Variation. It took the most advanced brain on earth to comprehend it, but to go further, to put it to practical use. What manner of being could do that? Quatermass inspired a whole generation of drama producers to explore the possibilities opened by recent scientific advance. Uh, maybe the chronoscope doesn't exist at all. It must. Nobody's seen it, have they? We've forgotten something. The prediction has still been made. Blake! Yes, and it's to them you must dedicate your next task. The rebuilding of the Earth. Doctor! But for many viewers, the BBC's best and most enduring contribution to sci-fi was Doctor Who. Launched in 1963 and surviving in a variety of human incarnations for over 25 years. I've received a call, and as a Time Lord, I must obey. Welcome to the... Some fans are hoping that the BBC hasn't exterminated the Doctor for good. I do hope so. I'd like my volunteers to die with smiles on their faces. I think we should most certainly bring back Doctor Who. Its success was that it could look at different subjects in a light way or a serious way. 
Unfortunately, sometimes when it was bad, it was terrible. But when it was good, it was brilliant. At Andrew Beachy's house, even the most mundane objects pay homage to the great television Time Lord. The props have been delivered from the BBC. When he's not organising conventions for fellow enthusiasts or collecting Doctor Who memorabilia, Andrew has another hobby, trying to convince the BBC to bring back his hero into the time zone of 1993. One of the things that has always made it very interesting is the eccentricity, the sort of British quirkiness it always had, in the sense that you have this band of intrepid travellers tottering around through time and space in an old metropolitan police box. I think there is a great future for Doctor Who. It could go on to be a major success for a, a long period of time, but it's got to be absolutely the right time with the right team to make it. However well-loved Doctor Who is, for many viewers, it's the dearth of new sci-fi drama that's the problem. It's all old and not modern enough, and it's all people who already have seen it, and they shouldn't keep repeating all the things that's on telly. What would you like to see more of, uh, as far as science fiction is concerned, on the BBC? More like the aliens being goodies and, the, like, the pe people being the baddies and being sucked into the future and sucked into the past. I'd like to see more programmes like Quantum Leap. Mm, Quantum Leap, same as Alex. I think they should put it on, like, every three days. There's a prejudice that science fiction is a juvenile genre, so there's quite a lot of science fiction and fantasy for children, but very little for adults. Peter, the people we've spoken to feel that there's a distinct lack of sci-fi on the BBC. Do you agree with them? Yes, I do. Um, but that's not really because I don't want sci-fi on BBC television. I'd very much like a good um, sci-fi drama series. Strangely enough, although the issue is discussed a fair amount, we don't actually get a lot of submissions. And uh, I'd really urge people who, who want sci-fi on the screen, who want, particularly who want to write it, or who have the good ideas, to get in touch with us. But there is already something in the air. Talk of new programmes on both BBC channels. Uh, the project that we're talking about for BBC One is a major, serious sci-fi that, uh, if we make would really be one of the major projects, probably, of the decade. Well, it looks like BBC Earth Station here in West London will be producing more sci-fi programmes. But will it be enough to satisfy demand? You'll have to wait and see. Me, I'm off into the future to see what's on television. <laughs> Jobson journeying into space. That's it from us for this month. My thanks to our audience and to Paul Watson for fielding their points. If you're still in any doubt about whether you'd let television cameras perch on your wall, you can see the next episode of Sylvania Waters after the news on Thursday evening and judge for yourself. Do ring or...